Hi guys, it's Carrie. I'm going to be working on my altered cigar box apothecary cabinet for the swap over at your paper pantry uh, for the month of September. Now, the first thing I'm going to do with my cabinet or my cigar box is I'm going to add the uh, finish that's going to make it uh, crackle because I want mine to have a little uh, crackle look to it. I'm going to go ahead and leave the uh, base coat as the wood. And you can use crackle medium if that's what you want to use. It works just fine. But a cheaper alternative is to use a regular white glue. And this I got at the dollar store. Two bottles of it. Oh, look, here's the other one. Two bottles of it for a dollar. So um, I like using glue better because it makes uh, bigger, more random you know kind of cracks and I like that uh, better for this type of project especially since it's a large area if I was doing a small area I would probably do the uh, regular crackle uh, Okay, so I finished the um, exterior and interior base for my uh, apothecary cabinet, as you've seen, and I just wanted to go over a couple things really quick. Um, this metal tape I got at Hobby Lobby, I showed you the roll of that in the video, um, it's in their floral department, there's all different kinds, and if you get it on sale, it's usually half off and you can get three yards for three dollars, which is a pretty good deal. Um, and then the uh, Adirondack alcohol ink that I used to make the rust look is the um, ginger. And I, it was kind of a happy accident for me. I, I was just messing around with it and it really does look like a bleeding... Um, rust and so I put it on the hinges and kind of let it drip down to make it look like that on the hinges as well and it kind of drips through this crack like that and I kind of like that so and then the uh, metal parts I use the Tim Holtz uh, vintage photo uh, embossing powder the distress embossing powder and it not only gave it a good color but it's it's got such a cool texture to it really has the texture of, of rusted metal and this was also a Tim Holtz brad that has some patina on the inside you can see that but I used the the uh, embossing powder on that as well and a little bit of the Adirondack ink just in certain places to highlight it. Um, the back I put some brown burlap it's not quite dry yet you can see the, the glue coming through but yeah, I glued on the um, some brown burlap there just for some added texture. I was thinking about maybe putting a pocket or something like that on the back. And I think I'm going to have to 
uh, makes something like a tab or, or something like that to open it. This actually closes all the way, but to open it, you can't really pull on the knob because it doesn't go all the way through. So this was my brown, pa uh, brown paper bag technique. Just has some Lindy's. Um, one of my favorite Lindy's is this. Um, it's the Treasure Island Turquoise Moon Shadow Mist. And it, it just gives little tiny hints of like a, a blue shimmer, like a turquoisey shimmer. So um, yeah, this is distressed up and then I put it on with some golden um, paste, uh, gel paste. Um, the inside has Bow Bunny paper on it. Um, it's the Bow Bunny Back to Basics uh, Weekend Market. Um, and so I put that on the sides and the bottom and just dressed it up a little, put some more of the alcohol ink on it. Can you see that? Just in places. This won't show because it'll have the bottles in front of it. And then my shelves are in. I put some uh, vintage photo ink on those and then uh, again with the Adirondack ink just kind of put it on there. So that is my base for my um, apothecary cabinet and I will do another video that focuses on the bottles. So alright, I hope that you will join me over at your paper pantry this month uh, for the spectacular September swaps and the uh, this is the popular art swap for September and it's the altered apothecary cigar box. Thanks.